Shalom, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you are doing fine by God's grace. Today I want to share with you a revelation I got from the Lord. It is about Revelation 7 and he had revealed it to me in a very cute and funny way. And I'm going to share this with you. My children have started to pick branches and take them home with them. I found it a little bit strange because they never did that before. So I didn't think anything about it. When I saw them happy playing with those branches, I wasn't thinking much about it. So I thought it would be cute to take a picture as a memory until the Holy Spirit told me Revelation 7. So I took my Bible and I started reading Revelation 7 verse 9 until 17. After this I looked. And there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands, and they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they and where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat upon them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The Lord wants me to tell you who the great multitude of all people is. It is written that they are those who come out of the great tribulation and have washed their the robes clean in the blood of the Lamb. The Spirit of the Lord led me to Revelation 6, the fifth seal. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. They called out in a loud voice, How long, Sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Then each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to wait a little longer, until the number of their fellow servants and brothers who were to be killed, as they had been, was completed. Now I want to show you my confirmation I received. The Lord let me come across a great news. 144,000 lightning bolts hit Southeast Europe in the past 24 hours. I hear it in my spirit, 144,000 and the 24 elders and I hit Revelation 7. This was a sign given by God that it is time for Revelation 7. I would like to come back to this picture again. I want to show you what the Lord showed my husband when I show him this picture. He zoomed the picture and he saw a rabbit on the window. So I looked up in Google what the spiritual meaning of a rabbit uh, means. And it means sensitivity, gentleness, fertility, haste, new beginnings, the moon, and good luck. Revelation 12 is about a woman who is gentle, she's sens sensitive, fertile, and she's in haste because of giving birth. And the moon under her feet and new beginning which is the new earth a new heaven and a new Jerusalem. The biblical meaning 
of a rabbit is the idea of rabbits as a symbol of vitality, rebirth and resurrection. Derived from antiquity, this explains the rule in connection with Easter, the resurrection of Christ. So you see, the rabbit is a feminine symbol. The Holy Spirit reminded me on the image of the bride with the apple in her hand and in the background a rabbit. And then there is an open door which says exit. He just wants to show me that I am part of the bride. And he has also given me the Bible verse, Revelation 3 verse 8, which says, I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. The apple in her hand represents sin, and in this iPad Go 2 video, she um, was shaking her head and she let the apple drop because she don't want to bite in the apple and sin against God. So, the Lord has given me then the Bible verse, Ephesians 5 verse 27, that he may present to himself the church, which is the bride of Christ, in all her glory, having no spot or wrinkle or any such, such thing, but that she would be holy and blameless. The circle in which she sits represents the moon. You see her shining. Okay, my family, that's it. And take this before the Lord, what I was showing you, for your own confirmation. And we see us in the next video. Bye-bye.